Hey, it's Naomi here. So today I wanted to do my July wrap up. Now I had a couple of books that I read in the month of July. I also participated in two readathons and some books were like, yay, like five stars and others. I'm still trying to decide what I want to say about them because some of them I really don't know what to actually say because I'm like lost for words. And I did enjoy some aspects of the books, but others I'm like, mm, okay, whatever. At least I read it, right? And I know that I either don't like it or I want to continue in this series, but... I really don't care for the book that much but let's get into these books so you can actually know my thoughts so the first readathon that i participated in was in the biannual bibliothon now to me i failed the biannual bibliothon horribly because i was captivated by certain tv shows but i did read a couple of books so i'm at least i'm content that i read something but the first book that i picked up was the shadow queen by cj redwine i think this was a challenge from your favorite mythical creature um i do have a spoiler free review on this book but i really did enjoy reading this book this was very lovely this is a retelling of snow white it does have a lot of magical fantastical twists to it it also has the introduction of dragons or draconize it also does mention ogres and you have a battle to seize the throne of the river inspired empire and it's something that i really did enjoy reading about i loved it this is 4.5 stars out of 5 for me the next book that I picked up in the readathon was a free choice, a wild card, and I chose Stars Above by Marissa Mayer. This is a 4 out of 5 stars for me. I did enjoy some of the stories and how these characters got immersed into Luna's crazy destructive path and also how they became pawns in her army. I really did enjoy Wolf's story, which was um, the Queen's army. I also did enjoy Glitches because you got to immerse yourself a little bit more in Cinder's life. I really did love the story about Carswell. Carswell? Carswell? Thorn. I really did enjoy his story. It was one that's very lovely. And you also know his obsession for the Rampinion, how it started, and he was he's always been the same, honestly, and he's a very beautiful character, and I really do love everything about him. I also did enjoy The Prince and the Guard, because it is Winter and Jason's story, and it does immerse you more into the knowledge as to how they actually became together, and how their lives were so intertwined, and I really did enjoy reading that. Also, Something New, no, Something Old and Something New was one that I really did enjoy. It did leave me with a lot of unanswered questions, and I wanted another wedding to actually, like, spark. I mean, it is mentioned, but I wanted to see it, like, unravel in front of my eyes but nonetheless i really did enjoy this story and it's, it's to me this is a bittersweet ending because you know i got to immerse myself in the lives of these people but it's so sad that it actually came to an end but i'm glad that it actually happened this is one of the first retellings that i ever actually did read and i'm actually glad that i gave the time to read these books because they were very lovely and I just enjoyed everything about it. The next and final book that I picked up for the readathon was the book's group and that was The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Manson. I love this story. This was a 5 out of 5 stars for me. I loved everything about it because it is a story about a beautiful friendship. Also to restore the broken bond between father-daughter father relationship. I love my father and this is one of the many books where I really did love this story and how everything was obviously restored between them and it's so beautiful and so so lovely and yet you have also an unexpected yet wonderful romance that just decides to bloom out of nothing and i really did love this book this is a very beautiful and lovely story to be told and i really did love the writing this is a story about a girl named andy and everything in her life is set out and she already knows what she wants and then one day her father is in this huge scandal and everything just it's like everything goes on a 360 twist and everything in her life changes but she also learns that you know it's inevitable to change things in your life you know you have to let them play their pace because if not you're just going to commit a huge mistake and the ending was a little bit sad for specifically some characters but i really did enjoy this book and the next book that i want to mention it wasn't a part of any readathon but i was like in a morgan Matson bandwagon and i picked up since you've been gone by Morgan Matson, and I really did love this story but in a well-ordered universe you would have had a better ending to me the ending was very lackluster it did end on basically what I have to do is like speculate the outcome of certain characters but above all I really did enjoy the story because this is, this is the story about a shell of a girl who learns that she shouldn't be the shadow of her best friend I really did enjoy the list that Sloane left Emily because it did take her out of her comfort zone and it also challenged her and it also helped her become more brave and to become the kind of person that she was proud of in the end and it's something that i really did love about this story and it was just so lovely and the ending i re even though i did love the ending how everything unfolded like the flat last few pages really was like a bit of a letdown for me but above all this was a very beautiful story and i actually am glad that i picked it up to me this was a four out of five stars because there were some things that 
I really wanted like a little bit more of. I don't care if it was a little bit longer for a contemporary. The next readathon that I participated in was in the Booktubeathon, and I really did enjoy participating in this Booktubeathon. I also participated in it because I wanted to like redeem myself and read a little bit more, but I really did enjoy participating in it. And the first challenge was to read a book that had yellow in it. So I picked up An Ember in the Ashes by Sabata here. <laughs> this book was lovely, and this is a sad story. I'm not gonna deny that to you. This is a very, very sad story, but I enjoyed this book. This book was beautiful. I gave this book five out of five stars. It has exquisite writing, it has a world building, specifically about the academy. That's I don't want to participate in that academy, but it was so lovely to read everything about it. I love the characters. I mean, the characters grew through the story, and they were immersed in some crappy things i mean some of these characters went through hell and i really did love this story so this is a story about a girl named Lya. that's how i'm going to pronounce her name and the empire has taken everything from her so one day her brother is accused of treason and she decides to go after him and save him now she does try and recruit into the rebels to actually try and get help or aid from the rebels and this is when the story starts picking up pace because she is thrusted into a world where she has to both spy for the rebels and also save herself along the way and try and saving her brother along the way also and it's just beautiful story the way it's told and all these unexpected yet sad twists and turns that are happening like a dual point of view that's being mentioned throughout the entire story and i really did love both of your major characters you have elias and i really did love how elias's story did unfold and how he really did not want to become like his mother and it's something that i really did enjoy about him also laya everything that she went through and also discovering herself as a person because she was compared to her mother she was compared to her father and even though she does think that she is a coward she has to discover herself first of all as a person and as a human being and this story was very very lovely the ending did leave me wanting more i cannot wait to read the second book but this was a very lovely story and the writing was beautiful i enjoyed everything about it and even though it is sad i did cry at times i already have certain things like speculated with lewis so let's see what happens in the second book because this was a very amazing read to go through and to experience this book and I actually I never thought that I was gonna pick this book up I mean I passed by this book like 50 times in Big Kamer and then one day I was like you know what let me just pick it up and I am actually glad that I read this book because this did not disappoint the next book that I picked up in a readathon was like your seventh book and I'm gonna be perfectly honest I didn't read seven books but the book that I chose was The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J Mass I I'm beginning to know that my love for this series dwindled at the end of the second book. I honestly do not care anymore for this. I mean, like, how many times can you read, oh, that was a careless mistake, oh, that was another careless mistake, oh, that was another careless mistake, or I'm Adeline's assassin, what can I not do? Think, that's what you can't do for one. She's just so blinded by a lot of things and driven. I mean, even Arabin tells her, open your eyes, you're not seeing the things that are in front of you, you stupid little girl. And honestly, a lot of things did disappoint me in this book and I did, I'm not gonna lie that I did enjoy some stories because I did enjoy, I really did enjoy The Assassin in the Desert. You do know that Selena does go into the Silent Assassins and in this book it does explain her um, outcome in The Silent um, Assassins. I did enjoy what she did for Sam and how their love actually, you know, sparked. But there were a lot of things that really did disappoint me. But I'm going to continue reading this series because I do want to know where does it lead up to. I think I gave this 3.5 stars. Also, I humbly suggest that you read this book after the second book because it does set the tone for the third book. But again, I don't care for this series anymore. The next two books that I picked up in the readathon were graphic novels and I picked up Trinity War and I also picked up Justice League Origin. Trinity War was okay, I really did love the graphics. Um, it has a lot of dialogue. Compared to this one, it is immersed with dialogue. It was okay, I gave this 3 out of 5 stars. I honestly don't know why I bothered with the new, new 52 because DC already did throw out Rebirth. I did enjoy more the movie than the book because in the book you have less dialogue than in the movie. The movie is a little bit more witty and you get more dialogue. And to me, Dark Side is a little bit more of a badass in the movie than actually in the book, which is one of the things that I really did enjoy. But I like this story and I gave it four out of five stars. I didn't finish this book, but I obviously I did finish it eventually. I finished it on Monday. I don't know, I don't even know what to rate this book. I don't even know what to give it. I don't know what my thoughts are for it because I love the time traveling aspects in this book because you do have a girl who has these, well not a girl, but you do have a couple of people that do have this time traveling gene and with the help of the chronograph is how they can jump through time but jump through time safely and there's also the secret society but I want to know what's the secret within the secret. One of the many reasons why I'm going to continue reading this book, 
I did not care for any of the characters. I did not connect with any of the characters. I just love the time traveling aspects that were being woven throughout the entire book is one of the things that I really did enjoy about it. You know what's funny? For a person that does not mind insta love, I hated it in this book. I mean like, wow that was like extremely fast the next and final book that i read for the month of july has nothing to do with any other readathons but i read it because my curiosity got the best of me and it's because my dear friend lewis really doesn't like the book and i want to know what is it that he does not like about it and the book that i'm talking about is the young elites by marie lou i still haven't finished hopefully i will finish it today between today and tomorrow but i only care about two characters in this book one is about enzo i really do like his dark kind of brooding aspects to it and also do not mess with anybody that he cares about huh oh my god just don't do that just don't do that and also Raphael I really do like Raphael he's been through a lot and I really do love his also his sensibility he's just oh he's just a really lovely character I don't care one bit for the protagonist which is Adelina her arrogance and the way that she is really doesn't make me connect with her I don't I honestly don't care about her. I'm gonna continue reading it because you do have leaders in this story that are very enticing and I really do want to read about more and I want to know where does it lead to but as of right now I'm okay with it. Well those are all the books that I read in the month of July. If you want to let me know your thoughts feel free we'll chit chat down below. I want to thank you for watching and until next time.